What's up guys? AT&T guy here. All right, so today's topic is hidden features about your AT&T gateway you didn't know was in here. They say this is enough to cover 2,500 square foot home, but do you lose speed to get to that side? Let's find out. Let's get into this gateway, see what kind of features are in here, see what radio this produces like the Wi-Fi 2.4, 5G, Wi-Fi 6. What is it exactly? Stay tuned. We'll check it out. Watch this. All right. And we are in the gateway itself. So in order to get here, you have to be connected to the Wi-Fi. As you see on the top right hand corner of my screen, it says 66% and that little Wi-Fi. That is right. I'm in the gateway itself on advanced features. I can go back to basic operations and it takes me just to my default settings here. Or I want to go into advanced options and that's going to give me into this and to get to advanced options. So look in the far left of the screen up here, just on the very top on the left hand side, it says advanced options. You press that little tab right there. Okay. Takes you to advanced options. Now here's where it's going to get fun. This is where your 2,500 square foot coverage works, but you got to be in the center of the house in order to operate this and the gateway has got to be exposed. If the gateway isn't exposed, it's not going to work. So here we have G, and we're going to turn on the BGN card on the 2.4 only. That is going to give us the best possible reach for the gateway at the most power. Now, if we turn this up to 40 megahertz, you're going to lose a little bit of distance, but gain a little bit more speed on the end card. Um, the BNG cards can produce about 25 to 30 megabytes a second, while the end card has a capability of 144 megabytes per second. If you look on the right hand of the gateway itself, you can really start to really look at all the significance of the gateway. Now, the automatic channel guide, of course, 1, 6, and 11 are going to be your main profile that do not overlap. The others, 2, 3, 4, 5, they all overlap each other. 7, 8, 9, they all overlap each other. So if the only thing you have in a house is turned on 2.4 and your neighbors are too far to reach, I'd go ahead and turn this puppy to number 1. Maybe 6. But number 1 has been the, the best one for it. All right? So let's go up a little bit further. And you do have a hidden feature with the Wi-Fi, uh, with the guest SSID, which is going to give you just enough service to cover your home on a guest ID. So this gives you uh, 2.4 at the lowest speed, which is about 20 megabytes a second. And as you see right there, it's about 10 clients only. All right. So the next one is going to be your 5G Wi-Fi 6 capabilities. This is where the NAC and AX come into play. So um, let's see what do we got. So I see the a okay so ac and n so that's going to be your regular 5g configuration all right so if you want the wi-fi 6 you turn this puppy to n and ac and ax all right it reset let's see what we got going on here 80 megahertz now you can take this to 160 megahertz which gives you a little bit more power but the distance is going to be a little bit less all right so and you can do a Wi-Fi scan, and this gives you the best channels possible. So let's see here, WPA for default password. I can go in here, WPA2, and, and this also has a hidden feature called WPA3, right? That's going to give you a little, more, a little bit more security for your setup. Uh, let's see if it's on this side. Here we go. WPA version follows select version client required for selection of WPA2 or 3 for maximum interoperability. Cool beans. I don't know what the heck that means. So this WPS button is another hidden feature that the gateway a lot of people don't know about. You press this button here on the gateway and it syncs up with like printers or TVs or computers that you can do the push button connect. Or you can add a pin and you just tap that pin in. All right. These are some of just the basic hidden features for this gateway that are produced with this gateway. Um, it is a really good gateway. You can do a lot of stuff. You can go into the subnets, DACP, IP allocation, MAC filtering. You can do quite a bit of things with this device. Uh, IP pass through is all in here. Configuration, your status. This tells you all your devices. If you go to the status, it's going to show the 
the um, devices. Again, thank you guys for coming to the channel. Hope this helped out with a few little features that this gateway can do. And yes, it's got enough power and range to cover 2,500 square foot home. We'll see you next time.